Oh, that's really. I think I heard you say that before. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. That would have been cool. You still can. I can still. You can just add it to the mini, the mini farm. The mini farm. Mini I'll sell mini trees. So mini trees. <laughs> sell normal trees. But my favorite kind of Christmas tree is a cedar. A I always cedar. try to get a cedar. I just prefer. I love the way it smells. Cedar is one of my favorite smells ever. And I've bought cedar. You can buy oil like supposed to smell like cedar yeah and it has a lot of like it naturally you know how some houses have a cedar closet because mm -hmm. it's natural insect repellent yeah so like it keeps moths away and um i think there's a whole bunch of bugs that don't like cedar but and which i don't like bugs but i love <laughs> cedar and uh one of my favorite Christmas stories that I wasn't a part of. When my mom was a little girl, you weren't they used a part to always, of it? huh? This is when your mom was a little girl? Yeah. You weren't this, a part of it? This, no, this is one of my mom's stories. But when she was a little girl, they used to get real trees too. And you know the Charlie Brown Christmas special? Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> You know the tree that they get? It's just like a stick. It's like trees. a stick with the twigs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my granddad, you know, used to always get the Christmas tree or whatever and bring it home. And mom tells me this story about one year. He went out to get a Christmas tree and came across this man that was selling trees out of the back of his station wagon like just trying to make extra money mm -hmm. and he only had a couple left my granddad bought this pitiful ugly <laughs> ass christmas stick <laughs> and you know paid the man a whole bunch of money for it or yeah. whatever and then brought it home and that was their christmas tree and mom and my two uncles just thought that it was the funniest thing <laughs> And they would gather around it and sing, Oh, Christmas stick, oh, Christmas. A couple years as an adult, I would go out in the backyard and cut my own tree, like yeah. cut a Christmas stick and bring it in and put it in a tree stand and decorate it and everything. Like <laughs> a, a Christmas stick? A Christmas stick, yeah. In honor of that Christmas stick. Yep. <laughs> and um, because I started, I started playing Santa Claus with my mom at like nine or ten years old. I knew, I knew that she was doing it, and then so me and her did it together. Oh, I'd yeah? get up with her at like four in the morning, and we'd set everything out, and fill stockings for me and Joe. That's awesome. And we always had a stocking for each animal that we had. So all the cats had stockings, all the dogs had stockings. Give them little treats. Yep, and we'd put, we'd put them like milk bones in the dog, or like a big, we'd buy a big dog treat bone or something, put in there. Or a new collar. But I think my most memorable Christmas was probably good morning my most memorable christmas morning i was in second grade so this is when i still i still believed in santa claus yeah i was what do you seven. mean santa claus is real huh santa claus is totally real oh yeah he is totally real hey we <laughs> bless you Um, but so I was seven, second grade, I was seven years old, and Grammy and Granddad's house was right across the street, so we always had Christmas morning at our house, and then we'd go over and do Christmas morning at their house, too, or, and then we would eat supper at their house, but, um, Christmas Eve, I started to feel bad, and I was sick, dog 
sick. Like when you're a little kid and you think it's over. You think the world's ending? You're like, this is it. I had some kind of 24 hour flu. I was down for the count. Oh, man. And Christmas Eve, no less. My, you know, I was still in the spirit, whatever, Christmas, happy kid, but I was sick in a dog. Man. So we had to go over to Grammy and Granddad's, and I was in my, mom gave me a couple of my presents early, and she put me in, she had got me these silk pajamas. It was like a button-down shirt and pants, <laughs> drawstring pants that were baby blue, and they had little half moons and clouds on them. There you go. And so she put me in my silk Christmas jammies. Yeah, well, I was seven. <laughs> <laughs> and we went over to <laughs> we went over to Grammy and Granddad, and they were eating supper. And I could not be around the food. I was just like, I said, Mom. You're that sick? Yeah, I was that sick. And that was always the thing with my granddad was even if you don't eat, you're going to sit at the table until everybody is done. Mm -hmm. So I just couldn't, though. I was like, I can't sit at the table. So Mom put me in the back bedroom, in Grammy and Granddad's bedroom, and I laid there and watched Christmas cartoons. (laughs) And then my granddad brought me one of my presents from him early and it was it was an american girl doll nice which was like that's top notch the end of the world i could have died right there in that bed and been a happy girl (laughs) all of a sudden i was not sick anymore i felt great i was over it i had a doll i had my jammies it was great that was a memorable christmas I like that one. So when you were sicker than a dog, what was your most memorable one? I was so sick. Um, but yeah. 